We are beginning the lesson number 17 on a page A5. The text of the Zohar itself, the line 3. Ot Gimel Vich Chama de Diyuk na de Brit Izdarara Barpain Utrin Zivugin De Hahu Zera Fo Kach Izdarara Shma Galifa Mefarish Barbain Utrin Atvan de Uvda de Breshit. Point. First, just a plain translation. Try to follow the words to, to uh, combine them with, connect them, to link them with translation with translations and knowing that knowing that only just this action what you are doing is already it will help you already with the light the light that w- will bring you f- f- uh, fulfilling and you must believe in this and believe because why because as long as you not experiencing this the more you believe and trust in this the more it will give you the strength to go on with it, with this study. And then you eventually, of course, you will feel it and and experience this. And this will be a, a turning point. Then you will see that you, it works. Vehama de Diyukna de Brit and in the same way as the Diyukna de Brit as the image of the Brit of the Covenant Isdara was uh, sowed by Arbain with the Trin Utrin Zivugin by 42 zivugim, zivugim copulations. The hahuzera of this, of this seed for kach is there in the same, so was uh, so the name Galifa Befarish, the the name that explicit Mefarish is an explicit, explicit engraved name. Baarbain Vetrin Vetrin Atvan by forty two letters. The Uvda de Breshit of the act of Breshit, the act of um, creation. The next page, and the next page. I think that this, no, this ought is already 
Yes, this ot we have, this is a short ot. This is the Zohar of the ot Gimel. It's very important. This ot is a very important one. Short, but very powerful. Now we are descending to the Hasulam, the right column, the line four. The Ot Gimel Vehama de Diuk na de Brit Vehule. And, and so as the image of the Brit of the covenant Vehule ETC. Double point. Ухмо файф шецурат габрит низдара бамем бет зивугим миото газера. Сикс ках гашем ахакук вегаме фураш низдара бамем бет отиот Seven shall masse brishit. Tra- point translation. Uchmo five shetsorata breed, and so as the image or form, form, image of the breed of the covenant, niz, nizra. Nizra'a was sown, sown, was sown, was sown, by mem bed sivugim, by forty-two sivugim, sivug, and the plural is sivugim. Miyoto Hazera from that seed six Kah Hashem Hachakuk so is the engraved name Vahamafurash the engraved and explicit name. Nizra was sold, sold by Membet Otiyot by 42 uh, letters. Seven Shema Sebrishit of the act of Brishit. Brishit is the act of creation. Eight. Biura dvarim. First, we let Hasulam give him, give us the all the explanations, and then we will see what we can add to it. For better understanding. Beyura Dvarim Sot Shem Mem Bet Atvan Hu Nine Havaya Pshuta Vahavaya Bamilui Vahavaya Bamilui Ten Demilui. שיש בהן מם בית אותיות. פוינט. אייט. ביור הדברים. The explanation of words. סוד שם מם בית איתוון. I do it, I say this word איתוון, the letters. 
there are standard uh, translations of or standard editions of in are of Aramaic of Zohar that they say Atvan. I learned it like this from my great Rabbi. But it doesn't matter. They make it in the, the such. In the, if you see it in in uh, with Nikudot, with the points, yeah, with the vowels, it can sound different. It doesn't matter. This language, no one speaks this language anymore. And this is a special language of the Zohar, Aramaic of Zohar. And even though the, there is a grammar of Aramaic, and there are of course, uh, the rules, grammar rules, applying to also to Aramaic, probably Aramaic of Zohar, of course, still there is some tradition or some feeling that makes a Kabbalist pronounce it in the way he pronounced it. Uh, in the Hebrew, no. In Hebrew, there is, of course, there are. In Hebrew, there is a. We see there are rules, grammar rules, but there are also in Hebrew some traditions, but. It's not like in the Zohar. The Zohar of Aramaic of Zohar is a special, special kind of Aramaic that you can't, you can, you can see, you can find it. Uh, some of it you can find it in for Babylonian Aramaic. Something you can find it in Palestinian Aramaic. But this is something different. This is. Uh, a Galilean, a Galilean from from Galil, from the north of Israel. This is the Aramaic of Zohar. And of course, there is a great similarity between all of them, and still a huge difference between them. So if you just hear me pronounce it different, just Aramaic of Zohar. So keep it in mind. Biuradvarim, the explanation of words, Sot Shem Mem Bet Itvan, the secret of the name of 42 letters. Who is nine Havaya Pshuta? It's, it's a combination. These forty two letters is the combination of three items, three powers that are, first of all, Havaya Pshuta, the uh, empty Havaya, literally the just just Havaya, the ordinary Havaya. That it is, I I say it, empty Havaya. I will explain it just just right now. Then Havaya Bamilui, Havaya that is filled, filled, filled Havaya. Yeah, it is filled, not empty, but it is filled. We will see what it is. And then the third uh, 
constituent, constituent is Havaya, also Havaya, the tetra, 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 grammat, tetragrammaton, tetragrammaton, the four letters, the name Yud K Vav K existing of the four letters, Bamilui de Milui in filled, 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 uh, the filling of filled Havaya. Ten, sheyesh bahen mem bet otiyot. That there are in them twenty-two, uh, forty-two, sorry, forty-two letters. Point. Uh, let's finish this uh, fragment just up till the line 13 and we will see what we can do what we can explain what it will be given to us to explain what he says Vinyan hit by air 11 Bar Otasulam and this question will be expl explained 11 Bimar Otasulam in the additional uh, commentary that on the name with the name Mar Otasulam, the vision of the Sulam. And this one we can see down uh, below, we can see the separate here on the same page below we can see in the from the line 22 le, uh, right in the right column we see the Marota Sulam Marota Sulam and he says he says that he will explain it in this additional additional um, commentary Let's wait for this. He will give us a tremendous explanation of this and other figures or numbers that we came across in the former lessons. 11. After the point, Vahu Zera de Kaima Ba'ot, twelve, breed. Shehem, hey, chasadim, ve hey, gvurot, kanal. Hu nimshach me Hashem, thirteen mem bet. Eleven. After the point. Vahahu zer a, and this seed, de kaima ba'ot breed, that stands or that is situated in the sign of the breed of the covenant. Remember what we what we learned in the Yesod. Shahen Hasadim that these are the seed form is is formed by Hey Hasadim, five Hasadim, remember, and five Gurot. Kanal, as said, as mentioned above, who nimshach, this this seed is drawn mihashem membet from the name thirteen membet point. So he says he said that the this Yesod, you remember, the Yesod had in itself Yesod and Ateret Yesod. Ateret Yesod was uh, reflecting the five Hasadim with five Gvorot. And now this five Hasadim and five Gvorot together 
are forming the seed, which seed, the yesod, uh, will give to the yesod of the nukva. And he said to he he said said that this seed uh, is came through this name of is through this name of Membet forty two. It is of great importance, this name, Membet, 42. Uh, and we will learn it further, what it, what it means. But anyway, I can just say a little bit about this, that the Yeranpin is uh, Yesod. Yesod, the Sphira Yesod that uh, gets this seed. Get it, this seed consisting of five Hasadim and five Vorot. From whom, from who uh, can it receive, can Yesod receive the seed, the seed, some light, yeah, some uh, something, the power to grow uh, from who? From above. Who is above the uh, Yesod? Okay, the Yesod is a part of the Ziranpin, yes? The Ziranpin provides to the Yesod uh, what it need, what 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 it needs, from the five Hasadim, five Sfirot of the Iranpin. Yes, Chesed, Gora, Tiferet, Netzach, and God. Five. But still, Yesod and Ateret Yesod are a part of the the Iranpin. So it might come from. Above, who is above? The Ziranpin. Bina, and above the Bina. Bina must also receive it from someone who is above here. Who is this? Chochma. And the Chochma receives this from the Keter. So the Keter The name, the the Keter has, is the name Havaya. What does it mean, Havaya? Just Havaya, uh, an empty Havaya. What does it mean, empty Havaya? I just give a little, we'll give just a, sm uh, a small introduction. And we will see further what he will uh, explain to us. So, it comes all from the Keter. The Keter, every Sphira, actually, you can see it as Havaya. The Keter is Havaya. We will see that there are different names, of course. There are names, Elohim, as we have, have learned. But here we are speaking about something that comes from above, as the light of mercy, the light of the light of Rachamim, the bestow to bestow the lowers with the light of Rachamim that what they need, and the light of Rachamim is always is uh, the name Havaya. So from the Keter comes 
the name Hawaii, and Hawaii means four letters. What means four letters? Hawaii is Yud, stands for Chokhmah, the second letter, Hey, stands for Bina, the third letter, letter Vav, stands for Zirampin, and the last letter Hey stands for Nukva or Malchut. So it means that in every sphera there is there are four stages or phases. And uh, the first letter, the first letter is Yud, Chokhma, that stands for Chokhma, has also above it this letter, there is a, a kind of uh, a stip, just a, a dot, as it were, a stip, yeah? mm, a small st- strap, you can say, a small, very small, just a small line above this this letter Yud. And that uh, stands for the Keter. Yeah, the Keter. So there are five stages within the Keter. Only the Keter of the Keter itself uh, is not seen in the Havaya itself. It's hidden. What does it mean? There is a great meaning in this name and you see that the Keter is hidden as it were. Normally this name means that uh, that on, in every stage, in every on every level, there are five stages. Yes, four. We say four, and within all these four, we have the keter. Very often we we don't mention this keter, this keter, because why? Because uh, the keter within every uh, level or within every four stages four phases you can say of every level sphera or partsuf or world is hidden and has no we say has no has no no aviyut aviyut means the Course, uh, coarseness, yeah, coarseness, coarseness or uh, thickness. You see, uh, something that is more uh, present of in the in in, in by means of uh, wish more or less, more or less uh, engraved in the receiver of light. But also in the light we have also the same five, four stages plus Keter. And when the light comes in the Partsuf, as what he speaks now about, like the Ziran Pin or Yesod receives from uh, naturally from three upper uh, stages or three upper Sfirot, we can say, from the Keter, and then Keter gives it to the Chokhmah and the Chokhmah has a different level and Chokhmah gives it to the Bina and Bina gives it to the Zeranpin. So on the level 
of the Keter, there is no, Keter has no, as it were, no Aviyut. We, we, know, we call it Aviyut Zero. The wish is, as it were, is not actively presented. It's, it's like potentiality. Everything is in the Keter, and still it is, as it were, is it uh, in the form of it's, uh, it's not coarse. The lower we come, we, when we come to the Sphira Chochma, we have already the Aviyut of one, so the first stage, and then we go to the Bina, we have the Aviyut, the second, so it, it's getting more and more the, uh, coarser, thicker, as it were. Uh, Um, darker, as it were, thicker, and but Keter doesn't have it. So Keter has, of course, its own four stages, but all of them are without a view, without the this. Uh, element of aviyut, of coarseness, as it were. So he gives it from his, but he, he, he gives it to the Chochmah, uh, only these four letters. Every letter has, as it were, the the structure of one of these uh, spherots within itself, like Yud, is Chochma, etc. And when, and this is called Havaya Pshuta, the empty Havaya, empty of wish. Yes, it is, the wish is is, uh, exists, but it's empty of the coarseness. It's only like, uh, it's even higher than only the a thought. Because hochma is, we call hochma uh, uh, a thought. So all five stages of the wish are called wish. Yes? So, the same is with us. In our, in our head, we say that in our head there are thoughts. And normally, people think that thoughts are something different than wishes. Yes, thoughts, you see, they are coming, they are going, they, they, are, they are so thin, we can feel them. It's they are uh, the, you can feel them as as a hunger or other other feelings as we have wishes, wish to eat, to to drink, or other all, all other wishes. But still, even thoughts are wishes. Only in the stage, in stages, in a stage that where the aviyut, as what we say, the thickness of a wish is zero. It's potentially has everything itself, but it it doesn't um, expose itself to lower um, manifestations of this wish, like in 
the European is heavier, and the Malhut is the most heavier, the real wish to receive. That's why the Keter gives has the structure of these four stages that in this name that are empty Havaya. So that's what he can give to the Chochma because on its own level of the Keter no Aviyut. Remember this word Aviyut that will help us in our communication. So it gives only these four letters. You see, in the Kabbalah we can uh, switch from one, from different sets of uh, um, spiritual n the n names, definitions of um, spiritual objects like this. So we can we have five spherot. Yes, five basic spherot. Keter, Chochma, Bina, Zira, Pin, and Malchut. There are no more. But so, but we can we can also uh, speak about the Havaya. Havaya also has four stages, and the Keter is uh, hidden in the Yud. So also five. So. When, when we speak about Aviyud, wish about the so then we use sometimes the name, the names of the light like what we say the name Havaya. There are Elokim or Adni so names of the Creator we, we call it, and other, in other cases we speak about uh, we're using the names of Sferot and so we will, you will see uh, we must have you must uh, make it for you clear to to be able to transfer from uh, one sort of nomination, how you call it in Sfirot, and then you you can just switch it to the uh, the names in the names of Elohim. You will see, we'll see uh, different ways how to do it. Uh, how to read how to receive the ways to read and to decode the spiritual information. So the Keter gives to the Chochmah these four letters, Yud Kei Vav Kei. And just that this is the name of it is Havaya Pshuta, the empty Havaya. And every letter has its own uh, gematria, its own uh, value number. Yeah, the value, value, value. Yes, the number. So, Havaya, just the empty Havaya is, has the number, yes, the number 26. The value is 26. So, Yud is 10. Hey, Yud, Chochma is 10. Hey, the first Hey is 5. The Vav is 6. And the last he is is five, so we have twenty six. 
then the Chochma. In the Chochma is Aviyud already uh, existing. Aviyud of the first stage. The, pres- the, the presence of Aviyud uh, in the Chochma uh, represents it represents the f- uh, field Havaya. What does it mean? Why you will learn later, but first try to learn what's happening. What is going on? Why come will come later? So in the Chochma we get the light that exists in the Chochma. The light and the uh, manifestations also in the Kilim is a uh, Havaya that is filled. What means the filled Havaya? That this empty Havaya, these four letters that came from the Keter to the that the Keter gave to the Chochmah in the Chochmah, they are getting coarser. Yeah, coarser. How? You, it, this, this Havaya of four letters is getting filled. Filled by the names of these letters. So, Yud, the letter Yud, if you just write it in complete the name Yud, not just the letter, but complete, then you get three letters. Yud, yes, uh, Vav, and Dalit. And you read it, Yud. And the numerical, numerical value is value is 20 then if you just in if you just uh, the second if you if you uh, fully write the second lid of this Havaya then you have hey and hey you write like hey and yud and the the value of it is fifteen, and then the the third lid of this havaya of the chokma is vav, and you spell it like vav yud vav, and the, the last. The fourth lead of the Havaya is again like the first Hey is Hey Yud 15. But this is for us not important now. And also not important was for, for now the Gematria, the numerical value of the empty Havaya of the Keter. Only for us is important only now the number of the letters. So the Ket, yes? Uh, it came because, because it must be something, so the Miriam asks, why now in the third lead of the Havaya, of the Chochma. Why over there comes Yud between, in the third uh, lid between the two Vavs? Vav, yes? You can just say Vav. Why is Yud? Because in the third lid must be something present of the Yud. Yes? Why? We will see why. But in the 
Chochma, we have this spelling with the Yud. So Vav, Yud, Vav. And we, we read it as Vav. Okay? Just, you will see. And in other cases, in the Bina, we will see different in the Yeranpin. We will see further some differences. We will learn it. But, again, here we don't speak about the Gematria. And we will see, we will speak about the Gematria later. I will explain you what does it mean. But here not. Okay, here we don't speak about the Gematria. We will, we will hear, we will know later that the Gematria we speak about the Malchut. The feeling of the Malchut, the feeling of the Malchut, the powers of the Malchut, we will see, we will speak about the Gematria. I mean the Gematria when we uh, count also the value of values of the letters of the every letter uh, separately and we make an as it were uh, a total uh, how do you call it? number this is the gematria but here we are speaking about keter uh, uh, let's say the light that comes from keter to the chokhmah and the chokhmah gives uh, to the Bina, what? The Chochma gives to the Bina what, what the Chochma, what the Chochma received from the Keter. Plus, plus the, the ten let, ten letters of the Chochma itself. So, when we see that, when we count the letters, that make up the feeling of the Havaya in the Chokhmah, there are ten letters. So we have within, actually it's like this, whether we see Sfirot from up, up to down, or we can see it from within to uh, uh, yeah, from within to how do you call it? From, ins- from inside to outside. So if we see from inside to outside, we see that within the Chokhmah, we see that there, are, there is uh, the shining of these four, of the Havaya, of the empty Havaya, Havaya Pshuta, that shines to the Chokhmah. And the Chokhmah receives it. And then the Chokhmah has these ten, ten letters of uh, this is the uh, ten letters of itself so it is filled Havaya and the the next one is the Bina and the Bina the power of the Bina or let's say the the cor- coarseness, coarseness, the thickness, the aviyut of the wish of the bina is even more coarse, coarser than the the chokhmah naturally. Yes, so it is the feeling of the feeling. It means that we take now the former ten letters as it were, in the Chokhmah. Everything will come later. Now try to, just to listen, and if you can, uh, as possible, as much as possible, to imagine yourself, and to try to follow it. And later, wrong a little bit further, he will explain it. He will give all these numbers and all his all these letters. Everything you will see it. But now already, you must be prepared for it. So bina 
the powers of the Bina are the filling of the filling. So the ten letters of the Chokhmah, when they are coming, when they are shining in the, the Bina, just every letter, every, every single letter, single letter must be also again filled as we did with the Chokhmah. So when you fill it, fill it, fill the filling, like it was in the Chokhmah, you will get 28 letters of the Bina. It's easier to remember this. It is a Kaf, Het, Kaf is 20, and Het is 8. And it means these two letters, uh, I mean these uh, 28, that uh, is in Hebrew, Kaf, Het, is also make a, a word of Koch. Koch is power, strength, better, strength. Because the, all the strength, the first strength of the kli, of the receiver, comes from the bina. Yes, because bina is the first who, the first uh, stage that has the quality of some hit uh, gabrut. We say some. Uh, Um, overcoming some power that uh, says no, as it were, doesn't want to receive the light. Not that doesn't want to receive, but doesn't want to receive it in the way like Hochma received it. Because it, it's going further. It's uh, the development. The development is it is one stage further than the Chokhmah, that's why the Bina says, no, I won't resemble the giver of the light, and not just the receiver of the light, like this, like is Chokhmah, but I would like, I want I sh- to, re- to re- re- uh, resemble the giver of the, ho- of, the, of the light, because she felt, as it were, the power of giving uh, that is actually higher than the power of the receiving on her stage. And so that's, this is the Binah. That's why the Binah, the, the structure of the Binah uh, is 28 letters, and this is Koch, the strength. Now, if you count these uh, letters, then you will get four letters from the Hawaii Pshuta, from the empty Hawaii, from the Keter, then ten letters from the Chokhmah, that makes fourteen, and twenty-eight letters of the Bina, that is, that in total we have 42 letters that comes upon the Zeranpin, and Zeranpin gives them to the, in the appropriate form, to the Yesod. So Yesod receives this from above. And this forms the seed of the Yesod. And this seed he gives further to the nukwa. Just try to do it like this. You hear something. What you hear is, it is necessary for you to, that I feel that it's necessary to mention already now. And then we go further. Fourteen. With the 
אמרו, וכמה דדיוק נדי ברית, שהיא פיפטין נוקו. איסדרה בממבט זיווגין, דהאו זרעה, סיקסטין, של אות ברית. כך איסדרה שמה גליפה מפרש זב סבנטין, בממבט איטוון דעובדא דברישית. פירוש כי עת עתין בית בחינות יש להבחין בנוקווה. דאבל פוינט. פסט ואו טרנסלייט דיס. פורטין. וזה אמרו, רממבר וואט וויה דילינג וויז, סטיל in this, uh, already in the length of all this מאמר, of this article, of Rabbi Hia, of Rabbi Hiskia, sorry, that we are dealing with the building up of the Nukva, of this Malchut, so as, as he uh, compared here with different uh, things, like Shoshana, like water lily, like Knesset Yisrael, the gathering of Israel, as a, a sea above in the Atzilut, on the surface, above the surface, and underneath the twelve Uh, bo- bowls yeah? the, tw- the, twel- the, the twelve bowls so all different things uh, uh, bowls so all things what he is speaking about is the relationship between the Ziran bean and the the representative of it, the Yesod, the Ot Brit, the sign of the covenant that gives actually all this to the Nukva. And building up of here, Parzuv, how it goes, and building up here, Parzuv, from the one, from the one side, And giving here mohin giving here light from another side because she needs two things she needs he needs, she needs a building to be built up and then as uh, as she's growing up as she receiving as she is getting here and structure a building she needs uh, to be filled with more with light and that's what we are learning here still further yeah and it's all of course it's all about ourselves so don't look with the eyes as you You are looking for as you are studying some something outside of yourself. Exactly in every situation we have the same without with, with this, within, within ourselves. Okay, he speaks about uh, the first appearance of the nuqua, but the same we have it in ourselves. And by studying this you you see you we are we are speaking about uh, we are going up in our uh, explanation we are going up from the authority sort to the Bina and then yeah to Bina to the Bina to the Hochmai to the Keter you remember and we're beginning again from the Keter 
downwards. The same things are happen with you. Yeah, you, if you are, if we are saying we are rising up now from the uh, bina to the chokma, you are, you feel from within yourself that you are going to one step higher. Doesn't matter that only um, that you don't feel these things yet. Uh, the qualities, the properties of of them clearly. Everything will come step by step. But still, you see, now we had, you feel already that the Keter has something special, this Hawaii, the property of this Hawaii, Pshuta, of this empty Hawaii, you see. And then the Chokma, the quality, the structure of the Chokma, uh, build, uh, that is uh, rep- uh, represented by feeling of the Hawaii and at C- etc. In a such a way you will uh, feel all these qualities and then by this, by this we will, you will build up your uh, inner Because this is this is all 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 all, uh, all what what is in the life all all about is only this, the light and the receiver of the light, nothing else. You see, they study uh, all over the world. They have all different names and for this, for this, for all these, for all their deities. They have some sometimes plenty of all kinds of deities. You see, there is nothing but only the Ein Sof. What we are speaking about is the presentation or, let's say, the coverage of this, the dressing of Ein Sof within ten manifestations, actually five even, of this Ein Sof in order to enable that un- to, to, in order to enable the lower uh, structures, the, the human beings, the human being uh, mainly, but also other nat- nature, other kinds of nature, to receive this light, does, very important what I want to say, does Ein Sof has does these five spherot or five worlds about we are, about which we are speaking has to do something with the quality of the en en sof itself not at all these ten these all this structure is built up just for one single um, reason to enable the creation to prove, to, to taste and to receive all the good from above and to rise up spiritually, to connect oneself with this light uh, uh, and to come, coming to the fulfillment. But the, uh, this, uh, but the, the, uh, these, all these structures, all these names, even Havaya Yudke Vavke, even the the holiest name Havaya, it's only only manifestations of this Ein Sof that doesn't have any name, doesn't have any properties. What the Chokmah about, what we are speaking about, Chokmah, is the manifestations of the Chokmah, of the wisdom to the lowers, but has it something to do? Can we apply it to the Ein Sof? Not at all. There is no 
uh, definition in the Ein Sof is just pure life that has no names. And look in, in the world how many deities they have. Every nation has its own deities and its own uh, uh, manifestations of the how the higher uh, is seen by the sages of this or this nation. But and only the uh, this chosen nation had received the pure knowledge of the indefinite Ein Sof that has no any quality in itself but only giving and further we don't know anything about it no names no any manifestations but this Ein Sof is uh, is within everything and this is very important to realize it's yourself for what we are doing that's why we are speaking about this spherot, 10 spherot and then 42 two letters because in this in this uh, alphabet of the holy language this is the language that completely corresponds to the ten spherot. We will study it, we will see that it's exactly the same as we speaking about what I, that is what I said before, that we can speak about the five or ten spherot, and that we can speak about the names of the Creator, so what does means? What does that mean? The Creator. This is the manifestation of the Ein Sof as the Creator. This is the Bore. The name of Bore means He who created the world. This is a manifestation, a higher manifestation of this uh, Ein Sof. And then we have different names. We have several different names. Actually, every sphera has also. Uh, its own name of of uh, the creator. It means the modus of dressing of the light of Ein Sof within a particular sphera. And there is also another way of, uh, let's say, a third way of perceiving and learning the uh, spiritual objects and the operational system is by the letters the letters that only of this uh, holy language that fully correspond to this to this for to all the manifestations of the ten spherot and we will study this we will see that these letters of the holy language they come from the Bina. In the upper worlds there there is no letters. Even 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 in the upper uh, sphero there is no letters. From the Bina, from actually from the lower Bina, from the seven lower Spherot of the Bina, particular Spherot of the Bina, because every also Bina has ten Spherot. From seven lower particular spheras, Spherot of the Bina, Enzir and Pin and Malhud, there are uh, Spherot. I mean, there are uh, letters. Letters there are already Kilim. So we can learn from the 
letters we can learn the worlds you see the combinations of letters everything we will see step by step we will learn it um, that was your answer the the the, the question of you okay uh, i try to uh, uh, 14 yes 14 with Amro okay and this is well, this is what he says he is the Zohar and in the same way as the as the image of the of the breed of the covenant Shehia Nukva look at what he says that this is the Nukva he just remembers us to us that this is the Nukva the image of the breed the breed is his thought yes and the image of the breed this is the Nukva you remember why because the nukva receives from from the yesod as just as uh, only the image, only uh, because the vug is uh, vug is made not on the nukva itself, but you remember was the vug was made by through the yesod and the atarat yesod, yes, and so Yesod provides the five Hasadim, so the light, direct light, and the Ateret Yesod reflects this, this light through five Gvurot. And so, and the Nukwa just re- receives the, this light as it were indirectly, it's, it's like, a, like a, a, through the mirror. That's why he says, the image of the breed, the image of the uh, covenant. And this is Nukva. Is there a bet sivugi de hauzera? That she, this Nukva, that she is uh, sown, sowed by 42 zivugi in the hauzera by 42 uh, copulations of zivugim of this zera, of this seed, because the seed is given to her. And giving, giving the seed is not just giving the seed uh, passive, passive. It doesn't work passive, just it means that uh, an upper wants to give the lower, and the lower must be receptive to receive it. So and and the act of rece- of making itself receptive is zivug sixteen. Shel ot breed he says. The, so the uh, the seed and he says the seed of the ot breed of the uh, sign of the covenant. Because the seed comes from the side, side, from the sign of the covenant of, or or of the, from the zir and pin, or uh, let's say, better to say, yisod, of the zir and pin. Kach is there a So, in the same ways he says, is so so the is sown the when I said sowed or sown it means uh, maybe it sounds not so for you not so familiar maybe it's better I don't know but it means a, a verb in the past tense of to see to to yeah to to, to sow a seed. That's what I wanted to say by this. Kach is the Rashma Galifa. In the same way, he said, this comparison. So also uh, was sown uh, the engraved, explicit 
engraved, engraved name 17. But men bet at, at it one by 42 letters the of the debrishit of the act of the creation. He know he will explain it. So uh, the first part of this of this sentence of this comparison is that the nukva receives, yeah, receives. Yes, the nukva receives what he said. The nukva receives the seed, and the seed is she receives from the yesod of the zeiran bean. Yes, by forty-two zivugim. So by forty-two. Look, look at this. By forty-two zivugim, yes. By forty-two copulations. What? By 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 forty-two. Forty-two letters receives the zeiran pin from above, yes, from keter chokma and bina. And zeiran pin gives this this to the nukva in the in an appropriate appropriate uh, form that she can grasp it, take it receive it. You see? And how he gives it here by Zivugim, of course. Because he puts it, puts it, puts them, uh, puts him to her Yesod, to the Yesod of the Nukva. How he puts him? Puts it every letter separately. Yes? And all together, so 42 letters and for every letter, every letter means every letter means an, a special uh, property. Yeah, has a quality, a special quality. So, for with every for every uh, letter uh, must be also a zivug, out of which, so zivug the. Between the ater, uh, between the yes, uh, yesod and the nukva, that's why he said forty-two zivugim, and the, by forty-two zivugim, so she makes with him forty-two zivugim, forty-two, in order to receive forty-two uh, lights that are represent 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 in this in this seed. Five Hasadim and five Gvorot. And he says, in the same way like this Nukva receives from the, from the Yesod, that is the breed of covenant, the sign of covenant, in the same way, he says, and this is something new for us, in the same way, uh, was, uh, was, was sown the name, the explicit uh, engraved name 17 by 42 letters of the Uvda de Breshit, of the act of the creation, because the, the act of the creation, we can read about this in the Breshit, in the first passages of the of the Torah. And now we'll, he, we're go, we are going going on the line seventeen after the comma. Pirush Ki eighteen Bet Pinot Yesh Lehavhin Banukwa. Now it's very important. Pirush the uh, Explanation. Ki bet pchinot, because two aspects, they, there are two aspects we must uh, underscore, we must uh, um, yes, yeah, we must distinguish two aspects in the nukwa. Double point. Look, it's very important because this is what we are studying. 
how she grows, how she receives the light, etc. There are two aspects in the Nukva that we must distinguish. Double point. Olive. He binyan nineteen parts of a shehi nivnet aridei habina hamid ba'er twenty kan beuvda de brishit point. Eighteen after the double point. Olive the first one. He binyan parts of a. This is the Building of her partsuf. How is she is built up in spherots? She nivnet alidea bina that she is built up by the bina. It's very important that she is built up by the bina. You see the the upper sphera is the Ziran Pin, but she, the body of her, of the Nukva, is given by the Bina. It's very important. You see? Also, the, also this is also something what we see in the name of Yud Kei Vav Kei, of the name of the, name of the Havaya, that we see that the, also the Bina has the letter Hey, and the Malchut has the letter Hey similar, the same letters, so the same, some, the same, something very similar that they have together. Both of them are feminine, and have the same letter. I expressed, build it up by the same letter in the name of Yud K Vav K. So he says also that she is built up. By the Bina. Very important to fix it within yourselves. Hamid Ba'er Khan, that is out, uh, that is explained here, 20 Ba'uv da Debrishit, in the act of the creation. And he means, here, he means in this, the, the first words, in the first uh, words and passage, passage, passages of the Torah of the Breshit in the beginning. That's what we, what we are speaking about. Remember that uh, what he spoke that from the first name of the Elohim to the second name to the, to, uh, of the Elohim there's some hints are so many words and from the second Elohim the name of Elohim to the third name of Elohim that's what all kinds of these, so not all, but some kinds of these hints are, are uh, a sign of what he what he says about that in the beginning the Torah speaks about the building up of the partsuf of the nukva by the bina. You remember. Bina is the Elohim, the name of Elohim. And the Bina builds up this Nukva through the Ziran Pin, of course, through the six days of the creation. And how to link these things, how to link the Bina with the Elohim? And other, you see, Bina is the uh, Sphira, but he says that in, in the Torah is we the Torah, the Torah doesn't speak explicitly about the name of the Sphirot of the Bina, but speaks about the Elohim. So step by step, we will know, learn to read the Torah properly, not like the story, God forbid. But the secret meaning of the Torah, Torah doesn't speak a word about our world, about the uh, living human hu human beings, about Abraham, about the Sarah, 
of flesh and blood. So he said, that's what we see that the Bina builds up the partsuf of the Nukva, that's what we see here in the act of the creation. In the Torah. 20 after the point. Habet he in Yan his Davu his his Davagu his Davaguta in twenty one Raza Yiran Pin Hanikret Raza the Yehuda Point very important now Habet the second the second aspect what he says about this uh Nukva is Habet he in Yan is the Vguta. The second aspect is the question, the issue of her zivug of the of her intercourse, intercourse with the Zeiran Pin Hanikret Raza de Yehuda, which intercourse uh, the name of each of which is. Raza de Yehuda. Le, the ra, Raza means in, the, in, the, in the, the Aramaic means the secret. The secret of the unity. You see, the Torah speaks about such things. Only we use, they use, the Kabbalists use these words like in our world. Has it something to do with, does it? Uh, has has it something? Has, does it have uh, some similarity with what we are doing here on Earth? Nothing. Just uh, they use the Torah uses these these uh, expressions, these the words that we use also here. So the second aspect of the Nukva is here. Intercourse with the Zeran Pin. That what we, that's what we spoke. That's what he said uh, before in the what in the 14th or in the 15th line. What he said about the 42 zivugim that she may she makes with the Zeran Pin. You see Zeran Pin. Now she says Zeran Pin. You see, in general, is the Zeran Pin. Normally, in general, we're speaking about Zeran Pin and Nukwa. But when we want to say, when the, the when we want to say, uh, to specify how it's how it is realized, then we say through the Yesod. Like the, if a man does makes and has a relation with a woman, we are speaking not about his fundament, yes, about his yesod. We are speaking about a man who makes an intercourse or, or uh, makes a, has a contract with, with uh, his feminine partner. Yes, we don't speak about this in such a way, but we want, when we want to, uh, to express the way how it happens, what is received, how it's received, then we are speaking uh, then we have the speaking. We are speaking about yesod, the yesod of the Zeran Pin, and normally the yesod of the Nukva. Point. You see these two things. So building up the building of the the structure, the building of the Nukva, and here relationship with the. Zeran Pin. Relationship by these uh, Zivugim. With the uh, Amru, the left column, the first um, line. Kama de diukna de bridge he yesod hanukva to Isdara bemem bet. Zivugin tehahu zera. The odd 
שרי ברית, שהף כן זה הוא ברזה דייחודה, דהיינו פו, בסוד הזיווג. הנה כך תקיש לסדר אצילות פייף בניינה של הנוקווה על ידי הבינה הנקראת עובדה סיקס דברישית, שהייתה גם כן בסוד שם מ"ב. Nothing different, no, no, com, nothing is here uh, difficult. It's just these two things, and this is what he compares. And it interesting is, interesting fact is, what the Zohar tells is that in both cases is the number 42 is uh, applied, yes? Or in both cases. In the building of the Nukwa, we have this 42, the number 42, and this is, we can, we can find it here in the, in the Torah, in the first words of the Torah, and also in here relationship with the Zir and Pina, that's what we already learned already, that she makes these 42 Zivugim, and this is already in global, we already learned. Let's look what, upon what is uh, concerning the building up of Heer Partsufa, of Heer Partsuf. Uh, the 21, 21 in the re- right column. With the Ambro, and that's what, that, that's what, that, this is what the Zohar says. Le- the left column. The first line. Kama de di yukna de brit. In the same way as the image of the brit of the covenant. Shehi yesod anukwa. That this is yesod of the nukwa. You see? And before he said that this is the nukwa. Yeah, before. Uh, in the line Uh, 14 at the end of the light, for, light, line 14 and the beginning of the line 15 in the right column. He said just the same words. And he said that this is Nukva, you see? But now he says, because now it's, it's the same. But now he pres- my, makes it precise. He speaks about an, a special aspect that she, he needs to specify it more clearly. And then he says, שהיא יסוד הנוקווה, זה this is יסוד of the נוקווה. He wants to point out the organ, the organ, yeah, the, the, how do you call it, yeah, uh, by which it, it's, it, it, may, it takes place. Uh, to, is the רבה מם בית סיווגי דאהו זרה? is sown is sown by 42 zivugin by 42 intercourses dehahu zera of this zera of this seed the odd breed of the sign of the covenant he gives us the explanation the seed is from the Or, yeah, from the sign of the covenant, or the Yesod. Three, she hefken zehu baraza de Yehuda. That this, that this aspect, this different, how do you call it? This, this distinction, yes, this distinction, this distinction, this is the, uh, is made Baraza de Yehuda, in the in the concept of the you remember the Raza de Yehuda in the concept of the uh, secret of the unity. Or Bazivu the Hainu that means for Basot Hazivuk in the in the essence in the essence of the Zivuk or you remember the Zivuk. This is the Zivuk is means the Raza de Yehuda, the secret of the unity. 
הנה כך תקיש לסדר אצילות בניינה, הנה בהולדס אין סאצ' ווי, אין סיים ווי, לא, אין סיים ווי, היא תקיש מינס, that mean, means that uh, he makes a, he, a parallel, he, how do you call it? He puts a parallel, he compares it in the same way, analogical, and the analogy, this is the anal- analogy, le seder atzilut, analogically better, better to say exactly, than analogically, Uh, to this uh, is the Seder Atzilut Binyana is the um, way of the creation of her of her building of her structure of her uh, of the Nukva so in the same way uh, is built up the building the structure of the nukva alidei fi five alidei habina by the bina through the bina hanikra and this is called the term and the term in the ter- by the term uvda uh, debrishit the act of the creation six שהייתה גם כן בסוד שם ב', which creation, like look, which act of the creation was uh, as well in the essence, essence of the name mem ב', 42. So also we see, also the build, the nukva was built up by this name, 42, but not like, uh, not like, It was with the Zeran Pin, but of the same name, 42. And this he wants to explain us. Point. Of course, there are some connections. Why is this here, here, in both, in both uh, aspects of the Nukva, there is name 42. And later we will see how this great name helps us to... to go on and to uh, create within us an enormous s- space space of uh, uh, literally and uh, metaphorically the, the space that we experience we feel and We can f- fill it with the light. Six after the point. Ukvarya data. Seven. Shayesh bet matsavim babinyana nukva. Shahem katnut ugadlut point. Ukvarya data. And you know already. Seven. Shayesh bet matsavim. That there are two uh, states in the building of the nukva. שהם, that they are, they are, eight, קטנות וגדלות, yeah, small state and the big state. We know already this. Eight, והנה, הקטנות נקרא בשם גליפה. Eight, שפירושו חקיקה לבית קיבול לאורות של זמן תן הגדלות. כי כל המקובל לנוקווה בזמן הגדלות אלוון צריכה להכנה ולהכשרה להם מימי הקטנות. And here we can place a point. Uh, here in the eleven, at the end of the eleven, in place of the Comma, we make a point, we set a point, in place of the comma. Uh, it's a, a small piece that we will finish here, and then we can go on the next time with the great uh, commentary, 
Mar'ot Asulam, the vision of the Asulam. That we need for all our study. Uh, six, Ukhvar, Ukhvar, oh, okay, eight, the line eight, after the point, Hine, Akat Nutnik, Rabashem Galifa. Look, very important things that he always later also will repeat it and then we'll say it and then we if we know already now we will this wording of the Zohar it will help us look concentrate yourself completely to the end of the lesson you know the wisdom is in the spirituality in the studying of the Kabbalah just not in the beginning just in the beginning to be concentrated but in the most difficult moments as at the end of the lesson to be completely concentrated even more than in the beginning try to, to get up at utmost uh, possible from you because this this the all these uh, short moments of your concentration will deepen your concentration, will deepen more and more and more, and then will surely bring you out of the placenta of the earthly universe. Only by this concentration, there is no way other to get out of this uh, slavery of this material existence, but through the uh, increasing of the inner concentration, quantitative and qualitative. Point. Eight. Hine hakatnut nikrabashem galifa. Look, he says, the katnut, the small state, is called in the name Galifa, in the name Galifa, and Galifa means uh, like uh, engraving. Nine, Shapiro show that this, this, this means Hakika Lepet Kibul, the, the engraving of the Nukva in order to, to make, to, to, to build up within here a Bait, bait Kibul, it means the reservoir. A place to receive Leorot, the lights, Shelzmana Gadlut, from the time of the Gadlut. So now look, look, in the time of the Katnut, the light makes in here all kinds of uh, uh, engravings. Engravings means that the places where the light eventually will come in these engravings. Uh, in the time later, in the time of Gadlut. You look how great it is. This is also the time of the study. The time of the study prepares us for the time of Gadlut, and again the Gadlut comes, uh, and then comes again the Katnut, but on the upper level, and in such a way we are going further. This is what he says. This is the name of his Galifa. The engraving. The engravings that the light makes in this uh, uh, small state of the Nukva. Preparing here to receive the light for the, uh, in the time of the Gadlut. It makes kilim in here. It makes v v v vessels. You see, in order to receive something, you, you have you must have vessel to receive it. Ki ten, ki kol hamekubal halenukva bazmana gadlut, but because everything that nukva receives in the time of gadlut in here big state eleven tzrichal hachana has a, a preparation needs a preparation. Ula Akshara and the, another word for preparation from the word kosher. It must, it must make here kosher, like the vessels 
the vessels the vessels here on earth that a woman a Jewish woman washes them and makes all these preparation let's say to makes them kosher the same way like this is the earthly uh, uh, deed that comes from the spirituality that's what they uh, the nukva does in order to receive the gadlut that's why also the woman does it uh, uh, Jewish woman does it she washes it uh, like Pesach she makes all this preparation cleaning up a special with a, with a fire or with all different things uh, glowing the mag- m- light, uh, makes it absolute, absolutely uh, kosher in order to receive the light of the Pesach and the light on the Pesach is, is on the Pesach uh, is Gadlut like this uh, and to make her hair and to make all the preparations Mimeya Katnut from the time of the Katnut in the Katnut so the time of Katnut we need it you see like we say that the time that uh, the uh, darkness is a part of the of the of a day. You see, everything is necessary. The katnut without the katnut is the, the no katnut. Twelve. Vaalken nikra thirteen bashem galifa. Of Hinata Gadlut Shila Nikra Bashem Mefaresh Fourteen Kikola Satum Baeta Katnut Mit Paresh Fifteen Vino Da Baeta Gadlut. Look what he says. Ve Alken, and that's why Nikra Bashem Galifa, she is called in the name of Galifa, in the name of the engraving. In the time of the Katnut. Uvhinata Gadlut Shila. Whilst the aspect of the Gadlut of her, a big state, Nikrabashem Mifarish, is called in the, by the explicit name. What does it mean, explicit? Like in what we are saying, explicit is something that is obvious, yes? So the same is what the Zohar says, 14. Ki kol hasatum ba'et ha'katnut Because everything that is hidden in the time of the katnut, mit parish, is getting explicit, v'noda 15, and known ba'et ha'katnut, in the time of katnut. That's why the he the Zohar uses this uh, predicative of mefarish uh, uh, the uh, explicit because in the in the in the big state is everything is all the tens ferot have the light and this means also that the name by which it that it represents is explicit. Sixteen, with the Amro, Kach is the Rashma Galifa Mefarish. Seventeen, Hanukva Nikrashem, Galifa he hakat nutshela. Eighteen, Mefarish he hakat nutshela. Point. Look at how to read the Zohar. Look, 16. Because no word in the, in the Zohar, everything is, is necessary in the text. Look, this is what the Zohar says. In the same way is son Shma Galifa Mefarish. Look at this three last words in the same way in the same way was shown the shma means the name galifa means 
this what he said us the engraved name and mefarish means the uh, explicit name so actually we have here two things two two predicates that uh, are different from each other as two poles yes galifa is engraved means some shortage, is, as it were. And mefarish means explicit. Uh, Galifa means also that something is hidden, like 70. And now he explains us to us. Anukva nikra shem. Look, Anukva is called shem name. You see why? Because Nukva is, why is Nukva shem? Shem means name. And we give name only to something which that is has uh, that is already known yeah it's has the engravings like this galifa he cut nutshula look galifa this engraving is cut note of here of the nuka 18 mefarish mefarish is the explicit who are Godlut Shala? This is the Godlut of here. So in here, in this expression, we have two states of this Nukva point. Vegam hem is the Raru ne nineteen veniv nu by be mem bed itva. Kmo a mem bed zivugin. Shabaraza twenty the Yehuda baot brit. Look, look what he says. Vegam hem, look, and also they, the katnut and gadlut of the nukva, yes, the building up of the nukva here, body, how it's built, she, she can be a, 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 a girl, yes, uh, like a girl, like a small girl, and she can be as a grown-up woman, woman, yes, so the same is what he says us. Gam vegam hem, also they, these states, these two states, these two states of the building of the nukva, is daru, also they are so, 19, venivnu, and build up, bam hem, bet, itvan, by 42 letters, look, kmo hem, bet, zivugin, like, like the 42 uh, intercourses, zivugim intercourses, shabaraza de Yehuda, that are in the secret of the unit. So in the secret of the units. Yeah, I remember within the Rampine Nukwa, the, uh, the Yehuda. So as, as in the 42 intercourses between the uh, Baot breed, in the with the with the um, sign of the covenant. So with the sign of the covenant, she has forty-two uh, intercourses. So by which she receives the light. This is one aspect. And now he speaks about the building up of the nukwa that she is built up by two states, small and big one. And they are also built up by 42 uh, letters in this story of the uh, no story in this in the act of the creation in the beginning of the Torah. With the Shomer Membet Itvan 21, the Uvda de Brishit, Shehem Membet Otiot 24, Hamuva Otkan, Mi Brishit Ad. Me bereshit ad bet shel ubo. Look, and now he gives us the hint uh, about this concerning this forty-two letters of by which the, she was built up this the nukva in these two states. Twenty, the last sentence. Vizesh Omer, and this is what he says. It's over. Mem bet itvan de uvde de brishit. Forty-two letters 
21, the Uv that the Breshit of the act of the creation. Shehu, and now he explains us. Shehu, Shehen Mem Bet Atiyot, that these are 42 letters. 22. Amova Otkan, that are uh, brought here in this, in this Breshit, they brought here in the beginning of the Torah from the first from the first word Breshit see look at the Breshit the first letter B yes the first letter B of the Breshit Ad Habet Shel Ubohu up up the up the to the letter Bet of the word Ubohu. Yeah? Ubohu, we, I don't know how we translate it. And the earth, you remember, and, but, and the earth was uh, a chaos like this, you see, or like this. And the second word, second word was Bohu. Tohu Ubohu. Yes? So if we count from the first word, first letter B, Bet, sorry, Bet, from the beginning of the Torah to the uh, the letter Bet, by which the word Bohu begins. Bohu is means like like something like uh, Afront, yeah, uh, depth, depth, yeah, the depth, like this, huh? Abyss, yes, abyss, yes. The abyss is then. This is the 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 word of Ubo, and the earth was. You remember, and the earth was uh, wild and abyss like this. It doesn't matter, but abyss is then this ball. So if you count this, you will see. You will tell. You will count forty-two letters. And this, what the Zohar says, is a hint of about a hint on the building up of the Nukva uh, here. Two states, a small state, Katnut, and the big state, Gadlut.